Welcome to the Quarantine Basement. I'm Bob Brooks. Good morning. And today I want to kind of tell you my story, how I got here, and why I'm with Networkers List. But before I do that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, notification bell, so you don't miss anything. So let's back it up and tell you a little bit of my experience here. We're going to make this quick, but I started back in the 80s with a company called Amway. Most people have probably heard of Amway, but I was in the service and a guy caught me in the parking lot and started talking about having my own business. And I always wanted to have my own business. I knew that when I was young, I didn't want to work for anybody else, but I did like the military with the travel and everything. I was having a good time, but I wanted my own business. And when he talked about it, it really, really hit a nerve with me. And I signed up at his trunk. I got my starter kit of soap and all the brochures and pamphlet and started right there. Took my kit, went back to the barracks I was living in, and I went to each door to each sailor, knocked on the door and asked them if they wanted to buy some soap. They all said no. I went back to my room and realized I was done. Never saw that guy again. Uh, it was history, but that was my first experience. But I had caught the dream a little bit, and I knew I wanted my own business. It was a little bit later I got involved in the silver coin program and little blue bags of silver coins. And the guy talked about dreaming your dream, looking in the bag, you see your dreams, and you get there with this vehicle of this business. And I started dreaming and I really wanted a certain lifestyle. I wanted my freedom. I wanted to control my own life and be in charge of my life by having my business and not brick and mortar. I wanted something that allowed me more freedom. So I started dreaming and that really got exciting. And I did pretty good with that business till the owner switched and went on to a different product and things fell apart. And then I became basically a network marketing junkie. I joined everything, 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 and finally retired from military got married, had some kids, and I had quit network marketing pretty much. I just didn't have the means to just keep jumping into everything at this point. But now here we go, we're in the 2000s, internet marketing's taken off, and I decide I wanna give this a try. And like a lot of people, when they first start out, I joined all sorts of programs, one after another, looking for the right program that would do it. And it wasn't so much the program I was looking for, it was a dream. Every time I joined a program, that dream came to life. I would vision myself at the end of that opportunity where I'm making all the money, I have the freedom, and that dream would be so exciting, being able to dream that dream, like, oh my God, that's what I want. And I would dream it, I'd feel it, and I'd get in this opportunity, and I'd be dreaming. But then the rubber would hit the road, so to say, and things wouldn't be happening, I wouldn't be going toward that promise of the 30 days or 60 days, whatever they promise in their sales pitch, and the dream would start to die. Well, to bring that dream to life, I would join another opportunity. I wasn't getting anywhere, but I had that dream that continually, and that went on for a few years doing that until I learned that I'm never going to achieve my dream if I keep doing this. Sure, I was satisfying that dream feeling by joining something new, but I wasn't getting there. I needed to learn how to have a business online, and the first thing I learned is it's my business. If I bought a McDonald's and it wasn't making money in a month, would I switch to Burger King? No, I would stay with the McDonald's I purchased. So you have to stay with one thing. You've got to make it, your business is you, and you've got to have the opportunity, which is a tool to build your business. So my business is Bob Brooks Online, uh, Bob Brooks Coaching. I've got a different few avenues I go there, but the tool I'm using is Networkers List. That's the opportunity because it does advertise some of my other things I use to advertise and it provides a, a real good income quickly at a low price point at 20 bucks. It's so much better than some of these high ticket things, which I've talked about in my past video, that a high ticket item, if you get into one of these and you pay the money to be in the high ticket, you're gonna find yourself out, say a thousand to $3,000, and then you have to find somebody else that's gonna be out that money. And if they don't know how to do this or can't sponsor somebody, you're gonna feel like a heel when you know some person out there might have taken a loan to get started in something to do something and you've got the money I don't like that feeling I like to have a, a small opportunity with a big payout because then I can teach people and 20 bucks isn't breaking the bank for most people if it is you really probably don't need to be online but here's where I'm at today I've got my networkers list business I'm building a platform on YouTube I'm generating content I'm letting people see me, know me, like me, and if they wanna work with me, we can connect, we can call each other, we can get on Zoom, whatever we need to do, we can connect, we can build, I can help you, we can start building this together and have a team approach to this. 
I'm building a team, but I'm doing it different than a lot of people online do. Uh, uh, online do a team build. A lot of times you'll have somebody that says, we're gonna do a team build, we're all gonna promote the same link. And everybody joins this giant rotator and everybody's promoting that one link, which seems like a good idea. The problem is the guy that started the rotator is the guy that gets the biggest benefit because a lot of these things are structured in sponsor two, sponsor four, and the levels that go down. Well, if you're on level four and you're using this guy's level one rotator, everybody falling in is in his organization, but not in yours. You might sponsor somebody from somebody over here and if they're not even in your organization, your only hope is it bleeds over. People that are attracted to these are people that don't sponsor much because they think they're gonna get a lot of spillover, spill under, or whatever you wanna call it. That doesn't happen because as the organization grows, there's less and less spill under, spill over, and those type of things. There could be. Now, what I like to do in the team build is I'll add your page to my rotator. After my capture page, I'll put your page in the rotator so I get the lead, but then people will go to your sales page and you might get some referrals and signups that way through me. I don't promise any. I'll keep you in the rotator till you have four. So you know you're gonna be getting traffic to your site. You're not gonna be getting to keep the leads except for the free members that join your networkers list. Those are leads that you can email. I highly recommend, it's your business. You have to have a capture page. You have to build a list. The list is so important because once you build that list, you have people you can email whenever you want. You don't have to pay for it. It's basically your own solo ad. You don't have to pay for it. It's there, it's free. You know, of course, whatever mail provider you use, using, Aweber, MailChimp, there's that fee, but your list is extremely valuable if you manage it correctly. So that's how I got here. I did a lot of different opportunities. I did all the jumping around. I did all the bad things you could do out there. I would just throw junk traffic at it and hope for the best. And I never really had a game plan. Now I have a game plan build an audience, engage the audience, and then I can work with the audience. And that's my plan to you. And that's my story. It's a long history of spending a lot of money not getting anywhere until finally I stopped and looked in the mirror and said, you're chasing the dream feeling more than you are working. And I had to sit down and start to work. And I'm here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday in the morning. I make these videos usually on the weekend and schedule them. It's just easier for me to work that way because I still have a job. But that's where I'm at. Reach out to me. Uh, I've got the link down to my Facebook down there. You can connect with me there. You can join my Facebook group. You can even grab my free ebook down below and get a Zoom call with me where we'll do 30 minutes of just talking about your business and seeing if we can help you and find out where the weaknesses are and strengthen your business for you. That's all I got for Wednesday. You guys have a great day. We'll talk to you for Friday. Uh, talk to you later. Bye.